I would say they're the people like they're like the get it done people. Like that's why you get that that um, thing. They're the ones who actually um, make make it happen. Like um, even if you make it, like let's say you know I need more money, then I need to go to my producer and say, hey, can we try to raise more money or something like that? Or um, I need a connection here because we didn't have the money. Um, so like some of my producers would put in a call. It's like you know it's like Shark Tank. You know you want to work with. If you've seen that show, you, you work with Mark Cuban or something like that, you want to work with good producers who have the connections to get things done because especially if you don't have money, then you need something else to get you through that door. It was great. I mean, Simon's a very creative guy. Um, he's a great leader. He's a great communicator. Um, and we had to keep a pace that was really fast. And he knows how to do that. I, I think, um, you know, he has a lot of experience as well, like even from the producing end. So, he, you know, he's. He's on time, he knows what he's doing, and he, and he gets it done. Everybody loved him, so you know, and we, we all had a good time because the leadership was there. There's a very good story about Richard, how we found him. He actually knew Simon Yin, the director, um, and we were looking for this CEO type, this guy who was going to represent Hong Kong and represent them well, and we wanted to, we were very careful about who we would work with. And, uh, and sometimes like, oh, I know Richard Eng. And, and actually, Richard Eng is actually known to audiences as this comedian. Um, but um, so we were like, well, he looks the part, and he's a great actor, but can he do this dramatic role? Um, so we actually asked him to come in for an audition, which is really bad. But he, you know, he came in, he read, and I was like, wow, this is the guy. This guy really knows. And we only gave him four pages of the script. So that was amazing. And then so on the way out, thinking like, oh, this is the guy, he's like, He's like, well, you know, if, if you don't like me, I have my friend Kenneth. Um, and, uh, you know, if, if you want to use him, he's a great actor, too. And I said, okay, cool. So I asked Simon to, to um, you know, because he's a director, go, go after Kenneth. And then so we, we sent him the script, and um, Kenneth really liked the script. <laughs> Why? Uh, well, one year, uh, nights and weekends, drafts revisions like forever um, crafting I actually even had a, a reading with the Asian American Film Lab um, they they read through it and like actually some people had had actually even seen it now and they're like this is not the script I read I'm like yeah because I revised it um, so uh, it, it took that it took a while and then raising the money um, casting and crewing was was a challenge uh, and I also you know just tried to like um, Look through all my options too. I did shop the script out to Hollywood and Asia, and what I found was that um, I don't think they were ready for, at the time, a script like mine. Like because um, it's it's kind of in the middle, and typically um, films get made in a certain way, targeted towards the U.S., targeted towards Asia, and so we're doing this this film that um, you know was new, and they don't. How do you market this? How do you market English language coming out of Hong Kong? Um, so without having to change my original vision for the script, what I wanted, you know, with a diverse cast speaking English and sophisticated characters, you know, um, really representing themselves, um, you know, I, I felt like the only way to achieve that was to do it in the indie way. It's the only way, because then if we were successful and we proved ourselves, then, um, then that could set the benchmark for other people to come with other perspectives and show what they want to do, too. So really, I mean, this film is about putting, in, putting out a perspective and then letting people challenge it, letting people, you know, have the discussion. So I hope you enjoy the film.